Good morning. <laughs> Hello everyone. This is Alicia Costanzo and welcome back to my channel. Amongst my experimenting this week or this month, I am doing my 12 hour challenge for my Writeropoly board. So it is 6.41. I am making coffee. When it hits 7, I will hit my first hour. 8 will be walking and then I will finish out my day writing. This might be a little difficult because Comet, although interesting, is going to be hard to write. So I'm on cycle 8. I'm blowing the alpha, so I'm past the halfway point. I get 106,000 words. We're gonna get to it. All right, let's jump in. So I have my coffee. For the next 15 minutes, I wish I had some place to put you down. But I don't. Because this is a phone. Alright, so Comet is a pretty basic manipulator. He's in this for the advancement of his family and his clan. He is very used to manipulating people. Now I know there's issues with the idea of gypsies being racist and a lot of people are talking about that but I like the complexity of the stereotype of a gypsy or a traveler without making him and I'm not gonna say this right the it's not Romanian is it yes I'm not making him Romanian I am just playing on the tropes of the character of a gypsy like he reads cards he meets palms, they do travel, and they do play, they like play tricks on humans mostly, not really on each other, and he's got like real magic to help him with these things. Hi kitty. Hi kitty. Amongst my mess. So, I don't know if he's gonna turn out good, I really don't plan on him turning out to be one of the contenders or even like a friend of hers. He is meant to mess her up, this is the midpoint, and she's changed a lot and now she's reverting back to her old self, but he is going to kind of needle her about her ladylikeness because she doesn't really care, people call her beautiful all the time, so like he can't make her feel bad about herself, about her beauty or her physical form, but he can make her feel bad about not being a lady because that's the thing that she seems to be insecure about because her mother trained her to be a lady but she's a warrior and she prefers that she's more like her father so it's gonna be an interesting mix of the two by the way I'm not calling him a gypsy I don't want to be racist <laughs> but I did want to address the fact that I'm using some of those stereotypes because that furthers his character and allows for me to play with new I don't know it just hi kitty well, come here my wheezy kitty, you can hear her. And she's perpetually sick. And I feel bad. My poor sick kitty. She doesn't know how to blow her nose either. Do ya? Do ya? Oh. Thank you for sneezing all over my stuff. I appreciate it.
got the contacts in because in 20 minutes I'm going to be outside and I don't like working out with my glasses on because they fall off. Halfway there, I'm going to have to braid my hair and change, but yeah, going to write for the next 10 minutes. So I still haven't gone for my walk yet because the male people forged our signature and dropped a computer over our six foot fence that our son needs for his online school this year and that took about an hour to figure out and berate people on it works fortunately but uh our male people are so stupid like this is not the first time we've had issues we consistently have issues we do not live in a good neighborhood or near a good neighborhood our actual like direct neighbors three of them are pretty pretty nice Unfortunately, the reason I'm not going out without my husband, and this sounds very odd, but we have one neighbor who's really creepy, and he has stopped to talk to me before and made me feel very anxious and just bad vibes. So even though I'm an adult woman on my own property, I can't go out with one without somebody else with me because it just doesn't seem safe. And it's really frustrating to not just be able to go out and work out when I want to because I have to wait for them and they had to go do shit, and it took an extra hour to get ready to go do shit, and it's gonna take another hour till they get back and I can go outside and work out. So it'll be 10 when that happens, which means it's gonna be hot. Not looking forward to that now. I hate waiting, I hate waiting. So I wrote for the last hour. Let's see, how much did I actually get done? Probably not a lot, because when I'm frustrated, I don't write a whole lot. Well, well same as last hour. Three more words than last hour, so I guess I got another hour of writing while they're gone before I get to work out. All right, I guess we'll get back to it. So we're still in hour nine, and I'm struggling. He's supposed to be manipulating her and making her feel unladylike, but she's kind of leaning into it at the moment, so I'm like, how am I going to make this work? It's still early in there. In their story though. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. It's a... Every time. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm tired. I need a break. I need a break. So, so I'm gonna listen to my book and go outside. The trash went though, so yay, because missed it last week. Nobody knew it was Friday. Yay for being home all the time. All right, I'm gonna stop sulking and stare at that for a lot longer. The things I set you on to get you at the right height. <laughs> The crazy shit that I put you on, you were up here. So it's only 9.45, but I think I need to take that break in the last 15 minutes. Hopefully the boys are back soon. I think I'm just gonna lay on the floor and stretch and listen to my audiobook, cause I don't know what I'm doing. So I got a good chunk of the book done. I'm at about 30%. I'm reading Pride, Prejudice, and Other Flavors by Sonali Dev. I think that's how they pronounced it on the audiobook. Obviously got my walk done. I showered. I had a smoothie. The boys are still outside, so I'll make food when they come back in. But I have 13 minutes left of this hour to try to get some words. So I'm going to go do that now, hopefully. My headache's still... Mm, it's, right, it's right there. I wonder why my head hurts. Just want to document the almost eight, 108,000 words, but also the almost 400 pages. Holy yeah. cow. But y'all, I'm tired. My head hurts. My head's hurt since about 9, 30, 10 this morning. It's 2.30. This is my slump time. I feel like either coffee or nap. And to be honest, my body hurts. I feel like taking a nap. I'm a little bit more than halfway through this. I could push through. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to do. I want to go to sleep. I want to go to sleep. 
Officially 400 pages. So it's 6.30. I've been writing a little bit so far in this hour six. Two more hours and I'm done. I'm pretty damn exhausted though, so I don't know if I'm gonna get a whole lot of words, but I'll stick with it. Two more hours. Two, well, two and a half more hours. Two more hours. Page 400 though. It is 8.48. I'm calling it. I'll let you know my numbers tomorrow. And we've got a new view because I feel like it. Welcome to the front half of my office and that is the back half of my office. I usually sit there. <laughs> I just want to talk real quick about my 12 hour challenge. I feel like the vlogs of these aren't all that interesting. I don't know if they interest you guys. If they do, please let me know because I like doing them, it, but if you don't like doing them, if you don't like watching them, I'll stop recording them. I have a cat doing something down there. Anyways, I had a hell of a time. I started off great. I had a headache come about one o'clock, which is usually the time I take a break during my day and do something different. And because Comet is, first of all, he's such an asshole. <laughs> like such. A fucking asshole. He's meant to be. Like, he's supposed to be an asshole. My husband was talking to me right as I was going for my walk yesterday about how he should have at least one redeeming quality with Winter for them to be like, look, we don't like each other. But you're cool with this one thing, but this isn't gonna happen. And part of me is thinking, well, yeah, I probably should do that. Do I know what that is? Maybe. <laughs> I didn't at the time, but now maybe because I let it marinate. But he's power hungry. He wants to take over her mansion, the chieftain, and, and pretty much just let her go die in war so that he can bring his ex to live with him and be chieftain with him, which is pretty fucking asshole-ish, if you ask me. And I don't know if he's gonna get over that during the time that he's here or not. She did just beat him senseless. So, yeah. He deserved it, though. Like, he's being an He's an asshole. But I've been struggling trying to get into his head. Now that I've pushed myself a little bit, it's coming a little easier, but I had such a headache. And I think it's from the week, honestly, of getting up at 6.30 in the morning all week without letting myself take naps so that I could get used to waking up early naturally, which today I got up at seven naturally. I slept in. Well, actually I got up at 7.30, but I was awake at 6.30 to feed the cats because it's not really fair of them that I sleep in and let them go hungry. So I fed them and I laid back down for an hour and I got up and now the boys are taking out recycling. But anyways, you don't really give a shit about that. I'm sure. The headache was sleep and stress, I think, and I always pick the worst days to do 12 hour challenges. Not to be too TMI, but always like on the first day of the woman shit, as my boys like to call it shark week. So I gotta stop doing that to myself. I didn't do it on purpose. Almost, I forgot until the morning <laughs> that I was supposed to do a 12 hour challenge too. Oh, I'm ridiculous. Anyways, you probably, again, don't care about any of this shit. Let's talk about my numbers. My numbers are fucking funny because my total is 2,345 words. Two, three, four, five. I love it when, we're, when, when numbers work out like that. And you'll see, well, let me just show it to you again. This is, these are my numbers from the day. I didn't actually have to go until nine. I went to bed at nine. I took two Tylenol and went to bed at nine with a cold pack on my face because it hurt that bad. I was surprised I got, what, a 340 after dinner because I just sat there and I was like, at least just do it. Just try and it worked. And then I'm like, all right, just keep trying and it stopped working. But I'm feeling good. Like I'm actually almost a third of the way through this and my cat's doing shit weird. Hold on. Anyways, my cat was trying to tear up the inside of my desk because I don't have a back on part of my desk. So the cat can like sneak in there. It's not against the wall, it's against my bookshelves. Anywho, anyways, cats, yay. I am feeling a little bit better about this cycle, cycle eight, which holy shit, I'm more than halfway through this thing, but 108,000 words, 400 pages. I can't believe I'm this far. 
I really need to do a breakdown of my writing. Ooh, mid-year freak out with writing? That would be an interesting tag to start. Anyways, anyways, I'm feeling pretty good about the story. I'm feeling pretty good about the characters in general. I love Winter. She's my girl. She's my main character, obviously. Wing the Alpha Winter has been in, in all of these. And I'm really wondering if I can make the transition after the heat, aka the full moon. They have sex together. She doesn't really want to have sex with him, but hormones are going to do this crazy thing to her, unfortunately. She knew it was coming, that this, this is part of, this is part of the deal. It sounds really terrible, but it is part of the deal and she's not really going to be able to help it and neither is he. But I think it might soften her to him a little bit and vice versa to, I don't know if it's going to make him any less of an asshole. I don't know if it's going to make her any less of an asshole because she's responding to his asshole and it's just, she's being an asshole too. Like, don't get me wrong. She's absolutely being an asshole back. So I'm just wondering if because the next guy is going to be kind of abrasive too, but more in a response to how she's shifted her personality because of Comet, guy number eight. So I'm wondering if I'm going to make that transition here in a couple of scenes. I don't know. I'll let you know as I continue to vlog about this shit because that's my life apparently, is I like to vlog about my writing and Winter and her men. Because that's all I got going on in my life. Work quite well, no, not really. Writing wise, that's the only thing I got going on in my life. So, yeah. Anyways, I feel accomplished for having actually used this to push myself through a kind of writery block. I wasn't really blocked, but I was getting there. Like, I was only getting, it was really hard to get my 500 words a day because I've been trying to get 750 and that hasn't been happening. But this is a little bit of a catch up. Let's see if I can keep the momentum going so that maybe I get to cycle nine by the end of the month. That would be awesome. 10 more days. Okay, I've babbled enough. Again, let me know in the comments below if you find this shit interesting. If there is some kind of other challenge you'd like me to do, please let me know. Do you like to do 12 hour writing challenges? Am I the only one who likes to work all day? I might be. I'm kind of a workaholic. Anyways, thanks for watching guys and being here for my babbly bullshit. I will see you guys next time. Bye!